we're getting loaded up. We're uh, back out for opening evening here in Ohio. We're right, right back in the same spot where we saw that buck this morning. When you hear it all the time, but when, when you have sign, most recent information is your best information. So we know that that buck was in there feeding on acorns. Those trees didn't stop dropping acorns between 8.30 this morning and now. So weather's perfect. We had a cold front come through. It's dropped about 10 degrees since yesterday, and we're going to go right back in there. And I'm going to throw some sticks up in a saddle, and Nick's going to hang out in the stand, and hopefully we get to film a lot of activity underneath those oak trees. So should be a good night, and we're both pumped because it seems like it's been a long time since we've been up in a tree stand hunting buck. <laughs>
dough when we first walked in, and then we were probably sitting in here for an hour, and about 50 yards back into the thicket, Nick saw a, a doe, we think. Not long after that, two does came and walked straight back out that way. Three other does came and circled back behind us and fed on acorns, literally within 15 yards, and ended up walking directly back out of our access to the spot. Not long after that, a little forker spike buck and another little basket rack like six pointer came out of the same bedding area. And for whatever reason, that first buck spooked. And Nick dropped some milkweed and our scent is going directly the opposite way that that buck was to us. So maybe he caught ground scent, maybe maybe the wind swirled, who knows? But it's only 6.20, so there's a lot of time left. When there's acorns around, you never know what you're going to see. I think we've proven that we're in the right spot. It's just a matter of time. That was an eventful first sit, and you really can't ask for a whole lot more. Right at the end there, I mean, we had a parade of like 15 different does and fawns come through. A ton, way more than I ever would have expected mature does to come through. And then we had a couple small bucks, and then right at the very end, we had a buck come through that Nick unfortunately wasn't able to get footage of because he was busy worrying about the does that were locked on us up in the tree as that buck came in. And I don't, when I think back about it, I don't think it's the same buck we saw this morning, which we don't have footage to show of either of these two, but he was a nice deer. I mean, he, we were talking like 10 or 12 inch G2s, I, I think. So, really dark tips on his tines, and he was definitely, he faced me at one point, and he was definitely at least as wide as his ears, probably more than that. So, hopefully that means that there's at least a couple good bucks back in there, and odds are there's going to be more. So, this is... This is all you could hope for from an opening evening sit. That's a good sign. Another good 
sign.